Hi, I'm Joe Crabtree, and you're probably more used to seeing me behind a set of drums than behind a laptop. But this is where I spend a lot of my time. And the reason I'm doing this video is I'm gonna show you how you can get your own website. So if you already have your own website, you don't need to watch it. If you don't and you want one, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get one and how quick. In fact, by the end of this video, you could literally have your own website. So why would you want a website? If you're a drummer and you want to get out there professionally, I think it's a really great tool to have a website that you can send people to where you can have video and audio and a biog, you know, like a CV. And it's also great to have your own email address rather than being jimsmith underscore 1984 underscore 123 at hotmail.com and then something else when you change providers, you can just be jim at jimsmithdrums.com. And that will stay with you. You can forward that to Hotmail, you can forward it to Gmail. Basically, that's your email address from now on. So having a website is a great thing. And, you know, I think the reason that people don't have a website is because they think it's going to be expensive or take a long time or they need skills. Maybe you need to be good at design or coding. So I'm going to show you in the rest of this video that none of those things are true. It's very cheap. It's very easy. You don't need any design skills and it's very quick. Like literally, you could have a website by the time this video is over. Your very own website, up and running. You wanna get one? Let's do it. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna click the banner on my website to take me to Bluehost. Uh, most web servers and web hosts are pretty much the same these days, but Bluehost is very nice, it's very quick, their customer service is excellent, and they make it very easy to install WordPress, which is what we're gonna to use to get a website up and running in pretty much no time at all. So we'll just click on the Get Started button. I'm gonna go for the Starter option because I don't need much more than that. And then you need your domain name. So you know you can try Jim Smith Drums if you're called Jim Smith. Um, I'm gonna go for Software for Drummers because I want to move some of my things off my website onto this website. Software, in fact. So that's available, it says congratulations. So I'm gonna enter my details on the account information page. And then I'm gonna go for a 12 month plan. And I'm gonna have domain privacy protection. That just means it doesn't show my address. Uh, it shows the Bluehost address if people look it up on who is. You don't need to know about that. But that's the only thing I'm going to add to my package. And I want to pay with PayPal. That's on here somewhere, I think. Uh, or more payment options. Okay, so I'm going to use PayPal to check out. And I don't have a VAT number. We'll just fill this in. Click Next. Check out with PayPal. and pay don't want any of the extras so we'll just click complete so that's it we now have bought the domain name and we've got our web hosting so we've got to create a password for the account so my mac very helpfully suggests one i'm just going to use that and create so we're going to log in of course the username will be emailed to you Let's clear this advert and then clear this advert and then we go down and install WordPress and then we're going to click the green buttons install and then check domain basically just click in the green buttons it couldn't be easier to do this so that should be fine and then I'm going to do the advanced options so I can set a name or title, you could always do this afterwards, but let's put software for drummers in here and just make a note of the username and password and you can set your own password here if you want. Okay, so it's installing WordPress. This is gonna be sort of 30 seconds of a job and when it's done, you basically have a website that's ready to go, which is amazing because this stuff, the first time I installed WordPress, it took an hour and I had to do a whole bunch of database stuff and PHP stuff. This is so easy and it's much easier to maintain as well now. So almost done. What's it going to be? 
3 minutes 24, we've got a domain name, hosting, and we've installed WordPress. So let's open a new tab and then go to Software for Drummers and we should have a website. Let's have a look. And there it is. Hello world, we have a website in three minutes, 47 seconds. So let's start by just changing this default post. So if you go on the left, you can log in. So this is where you need to remember those usernames and passwords that you set when setting up WordPress the first time. So we log in. So now we are logged into WordPress. And we're gonna go to the posts page. And that hello world post is the one that we saw. So let's just edit that. Welcome to software for drummers. Put a little message in here. And it's very easy to add media. Let's um, upload a file from my hard disk. Okay, insert it into the post. And then we can update the post to save it because this was an existing post, otherwise it would say save. So let's now open a new tab and go to software for drummers just to see what it looks like. There we go, we have a, a blog post. So what if you wanted to add pages to this, like an About Me page? Well, you wanna go up to the menu at the top and go to the dashboard. This is kind of your starting point for everything in WordPress. And then let's add a new page. You can check out the other stuff at a later date. Let's make it an About Me page. Joe has been playing drums whoops, for over 25 years. He's currently a member of Wishbone Ash. So let's say I wanted to add a video to this. We will just go to Add Media and we can import from URL. So on another tab, I've got a video here. So let's copy that URL, paste it in and then insert into page. And you can see that it actually shows you the video in the post. So then we can publish that and you can visit the page up here to see what the site looks like. So there's our post and there's our About Me page. So now you could have other pages up there, you know, with uh, videos and photos and things. Let's say you wanna make this look different. So if you go to the dashboard again and go into appearance, Themes are basically the overall look of the site and each of these you can preview to see what your site would look like if you used them. And then you can save and activate if you like how it looks. So really quick to change the overall look of your website. Now up here we've got wordpress.org themes and there are loads of designs in here. So let's check out uh, this Redify one. I think this has got a kind of sliding image at the top like my current website does. So let's activate that. And it took me a while to figure out how to change that sliding image, so I'll show you where that is. But first, you know, on here you can add a background image if you want, and you can change the colors. No coding at all, you're just dragging stuff around. So let's change these slider images. So we're gonna go onto the um, Redify link, and this is the settings for Redify. So uh, let's do the slider settings. I'm gonna set a slide for slide one. So we'll select files, and I'm gonna choose one off my computer again. And then I'm gonna full size and insert into post. And then we'll do the same for slide two. Just pick a different image this time. And you can just drag images onto there from your hard disk and it's the same thing. Uh, let's go down and insert that into post. And let's save the changes and see how that looks. So we'll go up to the menu and go to visit site. And so there we go, we've got this banner that fades, so it should fade. That's not bad in eight minutes. So there you go, you've got your own website up and running in under 10 minutes. I think that's pretty impressive. 
Uh, it used to take weeks to do something like this and you needed a lot of design skills and you needed to do a lot of coding. But now it's so easy that anybody can have one and I think everybody ought to. So I hope you find this useful and next time I see you I'll probably be back behind the drum kit. Thanks for watching.